Opaque thing becomes transparent, solid thing is like gold, they become fluid and aluminium like things they become some conductors, they become poor conductors, some non-conductors they become superconductors. So the type of behavioral diversion or aberration in the nature, fluidity, solidity, conductivity that is evidenced in nano levels. So nano level of study that gives you real innovative <coughs> studies. And number two, information technology is a very capable technology in which whatever we take in our mind to decide it is known as a lead. So whenever you imagine, design and draw something inside your mind, you require a very great concentration, attention and a conducive atmosphere. If the same thing is fed to a drawing system, like Coral Draw, AutoCAD, innumerable systems are there. Likewise, if the same design is computer assisted or if it is a software assisted, immediately that leads you that lessens the time and makes the thing perfect also. So, according to this convergence in automation or development of innovation, they say that nano level of study that gives you the clear picture of the nature or the behavior of particles. Using information technology, complex structures and intrinsic values, they can be converted into either logical processing or algorithmic processing by which we can envision it with lesser time and with more impact. And third thing is very important. Now, they are now in the process of bioengineering and biomimetics. If you understand the complex basic behavior of life particles, however they behave inside, you can understand innumerable things. Now, they have come to the conclusion that, number one, you study the behavior of life, life units, their growth and responses. The same thing if it is mimetically applied with the external inorganic objects, Certainly, you can get the reality. It is a recent emerging science. It is known as biomimetics. So, understanding life systems and understanding the growth, metabolism and processing and eco-response of life systems that will pave you more way to understand the lifeless matter. So, to put it in simple words, if you understand life properly or the life process properly, the lifeless matter can be understood properly. So, Chetanas, which are having Chaitanya, if they are understood, Achetanas are very well within the ambit and purview. That is the innovation. And second thing is cell. You see, a cell is whatever we see in the human body, the reason for all functions, that is in the nanoscale. Or most of the particles of, most of the responsible particles of human existence or organism's existence is in the nano level only. That's why they are now developing bio nano processors. Bio nano processors, that is the convergence of three technologies biotechnology, nanotechnology, and infotechnology. Certainly, the person would have invented the same thing by his cognitive technology only. <laughs> so, that is the convergence of all technology. Now, they are uh, developing such things bio nano processors. Likewise, in information technology, also understanding various things that happens in the human body is possible by virtual projection or virtual reality. By virtual reality, we have demonstrated a software in which uh, a pacemaker as well as uh, a uh, surgery, a great cardiac surgery, as well as uh, a kidney transplantation, everything has been exactly, precisely envisioned, monitored, directed and uh, supplied and applied by means of a virtual reality projection. So virtual reality is information technology with biotechnology as well as uh, the basic other technology, cognitive technology, as I have already told, it is implied in all technologies. Virtual reality is an example in cell studies, basic unit of life. And uh, the third thing is how to study the response in foundation of principles. For example, nanotechnology is going to rule in the computer hardware after 10 years. Most of the hardware, most of the devices will be nano devices. We are just first talking about nanoparticles. The particles are to be processed, devised and engineered by tools. The tools will be in the nanoscale level. That is known as nano devices. So it is not about the particle. If the particle itself is unimaginable to human perception. If the device itself is in the nanoscale level, then it is more unintelligible. It is far beyond the human the reach and thought of his con conception. So that type of nano processes are going to come and rule. That is the rule of uh, the future of nanotechnology in computer <coughs> hardware and information technology will tackle a very great couplet of problems. One is reliability and security. That is going to be a very major issue that they are going to tackle now. And biotechnology, now they are going to understand the 
helix complex message and information delivery between various systems various networks are sub networks are recently understood i told about the the nerve processing system and nerve growth factor nerve growth factor i told such much of multi complex connectivity and network is that each and every neuron that connects itself with surroundings and forms network likewise millions of neurons they can create innumerable networks according to the recent discovery limited discovery they say that each and every neuron can maximum form 30000 networks single neuron can form 30000 networks now the complexity so 30 that's what the shastra says the whole world even if you consider the whole world its knowledge the books published the books which are in research and the knowledge which is stored in a cognitive skull or base or container everything can be very commodiously encapsulated in a pin point of a human brain human brain not a divine brain not even a great preceptorial brain or a super uh, transformation brain or a preternatural brain just a common human brain so that much of capability is there in these things now biotechnology now with the use of information technology it has understood the ability of see there are two types of ability manifested ability and absolute ability if you see manifested ability of human being most of the people will be zeros but the absolute ability within each and every human being makes him a hero each everybody they are having their absolute ability which must be provided by either circumstances for self trial or by a special gift each and everybody is having that absolute and infinite ability it is guaranteed Likewise, there are innumerable such divisions which are which they are uh, believing that they are uh, yet to come in various other these things. And uh, what I want to conclude here is three major points. One is the possibility of a multiversatile mastery. The issue of possibility of a multiversatile mastery. <coughs> Second thing is cognitive domination. Third thing. traditional exercises for cognifit so this is what i want to say say something which they have found out something which they are struggling to find out something they will find out and then rule out these things need not be discussed by us something already known need not be discussed something that is not known need not be discussed something they know but they are going to rule it out one day we need not discuss so ruling out all of these three things now we are coming to these three major issues number one it is cognitive dominance whatever we invent and whatever we do in the society there must be cognitive dominance if you are having cognitive dominance what are all the benefits one is a spiritual benefit a person who is having cognitive dominance he will be continued as a human being or a higher human being or he will be suitable for liberation a person whose proper structure of cognition is not used and if he is tamed and enslaved by circumstances or by scientific uh, slavery it is scientific slavery or technical slavery by this if a person moves spiritually the person is considered to be disqualified number 1 number 2 socially also more reliability on machines that will rule out i have been telling this several times more reliability on this type of machines except on para human collective or multi magnitude operations even for small operations crossing a person's real cognitive rule as well as a cognitive demand that he has to execute more relying on machines that will make the innate mechanisms to be totally eroded first it will be disused second disused thing will be deactivated deactivated thing will be eroded eroded thing will not form the